Hi everyone, it's Miss Oxley back to do some more arts and crafts with you. Today we're going to do some scratch art. A big thank you to everybody who sent me their pictures. Here they are. It was so great to see so many people taking part in the Zentangle art project. Thanks again. Okay, let's get started. So for scratch art, you will need some thick white paper, oil pastels or wax crayons, a paintbrush, some black acrylic paint, some hand soap and a kebab stick or toothpicks. So first of all, you're gonna choose your colors that you want to work with. I wanted to work with bright colors, so I decided to make a big rainbow. A big thank you to our NHS workers. And you're gonna fill the entire paper. Try and press really hard if you're using wax crayon because you don't want any white spaces. Then you're gonna take your black acrylic paint, mix it with a tiny bit of soap. And you're gonna brush that all over your wax crayon picture. You can see here that I'm only going one way to start off with, I'm going left to right. I'm going to let that dry. When you touch it, you shouldn't have any black paint on your hands. I'm gonna mix some more, and this time I'm gonna go over a second layer and go top to bottom. I got impatient, so I dried mine with a hairdryer. I'm gonna cut mine into three different pieces just so I have a couple of goes at creating some art. I'm gonna start off by drawing a picture. I've decided to draw an eye. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the pointy end of the kebab stick or toothpick and I am just really carefully scratching away the black paint to reveal the crayon underneath. The more that you scratch away, the lighter the part that you're working on will look. So you can create some really interesting effects between the shadows in your picture and the light parts. Then I decided to do some typography. I am writing my name, Miss Oxley. And there are my two finished pieces. So I've decided not to complete the last one. I want to wait and see what you're gonna make and then I'm gonna maybe have a go at recreating one of your pieces. Make sure if you want your work to be featured at the start of the next video to send me your picture attached to an email to the email address in the description box below. Okay, see you next time.